turkey or ham for lunch today? Packing lunch for the first day of first grade can be nerve-wracking for any mother, but Karen Lee has more reasons to worry than most. Karen's son Adam has severe life-threatening allergies. He is in the highest risk category for an anaphylactic reaction due to the fact that he has eczema, he has asthma, and he has the allergy to peanuts. Adam's allergies are so bad, in fact, even smelling peanuts can trigger a dangerous reaction. As a result, Karen sent an EpiPen like this one to school. It's a syringe filled with the medicine epinephrine to treat allergic reactions, which can turn deadly quickly. In this country, there are about 100 to 150 people every year who actually actually die from a, from a food allergy reaction. In an effort to lower those numbers, Dr. DJ Scherzer developed an innovative program at Nationwide Children's Hospital that teaches school staffers how and when to use EpiPens. Each year, thousands of kids suffer severe reactions at school, and many adults are unable or unsure how to help. Approximately half of those people actually had epinephrine in the vicinity. It was available to them. It just wasn't used or it wasn't used in time. Scherzer, who is also at the Ohio State University, says EpiPens can go unused in emergencies because they can be intimidating, especially if an adult has to inject a child. But it's an idea that gets a lot easier with just a little practice. Just a few minutes of getting a feel of it, talking about it a little bit, just looking at it can help you get over that hesitancy. And can help protect kids like Adam from dangers they may never see coming. At Nationwide Children's Hospital, this is Clark Powell reporting.